All right, guys, let's go. We gotta go. Come on, up, up, up. Let's go. Oh, Athena. You know, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, that's a good girl. Come on, Aries. Good puppies. We gotta go, we gotta go. So that is our challenge. It could make or break our photo tonight. All right, so this picture, the other day I went into town to get a, an oil change. Okay, so on the way back from the oil change, I saw this peak from a specific angle about five miles from camp north of here. So that's what we're doing. We're heading to, up this trail over here, five miles north to get this shot. Now, I wanna get into this at sunset, and the problem with this thing at sunset is the sun faces directly at it. There's not much side light at all. There's a little bit. Right now, there's a little bit. In the middle of the summer, there won't be any. So the plan is over the next five days, well, four days, because we're skipping Christmas, I'm cooking some, I'm cooking some uh, pulled pork. There he is. He's excited too. <laughs> so I'm cooking pulled pork on Christmas night, Christmas day, whatever. So we're skipping Saturday. So today is Wednesday. So we're doing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. I'm gonna take all four of those nights. We're gonna go down here to this spot. We're gonna take a picture of this peak and I'm hoping the things will line up and we'll get just a beautiful picture. So let's go. Well, this is already shaping up to be kind of a, an iffy situation. The sun breaking through that last little rim there. There's not many spots left before it sets unless those clouds move this way and more. I don't know. The peak I'm looking at, really hard, but it's the, it's the, the pointy one right there. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, if it has a name. Uh, the only thing I've seen over here that has a name is Signal Peak, which, you know, is over that way over there. Anyways, I'm going to hurry and get my camera set up, and hopefully something pops up here. Um, I'm going to throw up real quick the shot I took the other night, just a quick test shot. And uh, hopefully, hopefully something turns out here. But like I said, I'm going to spend the next couple of days coming out here. I think our areas is excited as usual. So anyways, let's get to it. Okay, well, let me show you what I'm working with here. First off, I've got my Tamron 150 to 500. I love this lens. I may have said that before, but anyways, as you can see up here, I'm at about 300 millimeters. So the light really is not working for me, but uh, let me bump this up a little bit so you can see a little better. So down here in the bottom, I have a little tree. And then I have the peak kind of come up here and all of these clouds up here. I'm hoping these clouds will catch some light and I'm hoping that the setting sun will kind of come from this direction, hitting all of lighting all of this up and lighting the side of this up. That's the plan, that's the shot. That's what I'm going for the next couple of nights until we get it. The problem is, as you can see here, recent your camera, there's a lot of clouds between the sun and the sunset. There's a small, small little break right at the edge there that might work for us, but I don't think so. The shot I showed you earlier, that is basically what I ran into that day, so. That's it for tonight. We will come back again tomorrow. So I'm gonna wait for the best shot that I can get here. And uh, I'll throw that up here and then we'll uh, catch you on tomorrow's attempt. Okay, well, day two, about to take off here. It's looking a lot like yesterday. That is the setting sun direction. Yep, working on kind of the same deal as yesterday. And then looking off towards the mountains that I'm gonna end up trying to shoot. So we have potential, we have potential here, but it all really hinges on where that sun comes through those clouds. And there's a lot of them right there. So let's get going to the spot and see what happens. Well, as you can see, maybe, <laughs> there's light hitting the peak, but let me turn this way. It's the last sliver of light for right there. So hopefully those clouds move a little bit more this way. We'll see. I'm gonna get set up and see what we can, f see if I can get something here. I think it's gonna turn out like last night. But it's like I said, if you don't come out here, it's a good, 
good 45 minute drive there and back so alrighty so huh, let me let me show you here that's the direction the Sun should be coming from and you can kind of see with those little golden streaks there's not much chance of sunlight coming through there and hitting our peak right out there but I came up this road it's a little bit further off of the main road and as you can see here I've got down on the bottom a bunch of jumping choya cactuses let me see if I can brighten this up so you can see what I'm talking about there hopefully you can see them got a su couple suaros and then all these kind of yellowish poofy things those are the jumping choya cacti and I really enjoy these things they're kind of a brutal little little plant <laughs> so that's the composition tonight. I think I'm going to come back to this exact spot tomorrow and the next night. Um, and hopefully we get we get something here because this is a I really like this specific composition here. Um, you know, looking in really close. This this peak just the profile of everything looks really awesome. You've got this kind of square looking shape here, these little teeth right next to it, and then this other one over here is a little bit more subdued compared to the rest of it. But just all together, this peak from this angle really, to me, kind of captures the mood of this area of Kofa. So this is the shot I really want to get. I'm going to be, I'm still going to be in Arizona for quite a while. There's a couple of other places I want to check out, but Kofa is definitely one that I still feel needs a lot more exploring, a lot more, there's just a lot going on here. It's a huge area, and I just feel like it needs to be explored a little bit more. Come on. So that is kind of what we're doing tonight. Um, there's a couple other compositions here, as you kind of saw with yesterday. I, you know, I, I want to take pictures of stuff while I'm still out here. So even though the main one might not work out, I still have, you know, 360 degrees around me where the sunlight is going to hit. Um, for instance, that whole section to the left and right of that little mountain right beside me, that whole area right there is probably going to get a decent amount of sunset light. Um, it'll be more of the dark pinks and purples. It won't be any of the golden light, at least not that I can tell. Um, but we'll see what we can do with this. You know, I I always tend to end up walking away with something. Whoa, I'm zoomed in on my face like, hello. <laughs> so that's kind of the shot for tonight. Hopefully something happens. I'm crossing my fingers, but it's looking really slim. Um, otherwise, I'll get a couple of shots off this direction where I just showed you. And uh, so, yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow for round three. Well, unfortunately, due to mechanical failures in the holidays, I was unable to return and get the shot I wanted. I'll return soon enough, and hopefully I'll get the shot then. But wouldn't you know it, a couple days later, the conditions were just what I was looking for. So I did the best I could from camp and got these few sunset shots. The moral of the story is, what you expect and what you get are rarely the same thing. So keep on trying and you'll get the shot you want sooner or later. I hope you enjoy and thanks for coming along. Until next time, have a good one.